I stole your bag. They're the notorious. Oh my god. Alrighty Dylan's Travels, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing La Playa Grande, one of the most famous beaches arguably in Costa Rica. We're on it today, I'm going to be showing you the surf, the waves, the beach itself and a few of the little animals that you're going to find along the way possibly trying to steal your bag. So if you've ever googled uh, La Playa Grande or beaches in Costa Rica, La Playa Grande comes up all of the time. It's one of the biggest and best beaches in Costa Rica according to Google. Now, after I saw this online, I was quite surprised at the fact that there's not too many people on this beach. So we went in about March time and all of the time we was there, the beach was obviously insanely big, but it was quite quiet. It wasn't packed like Santa Teresa up the road. It wasn't super crowded. There was plenty of space and everybody had their own bay. So this beach is located in Montezuma and yeah, it's stunning. There's a massive green forest all the way behind it. In front of the green forest, you've got sand and then the beach. Right now, you're seeing me spot a few monkeys Try and steal this steal lady's bag. bag. Listen in. They're the notorious. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, the monkeys are something that you should definitely be careful of. Now, another thing that's worth pointing out is with this beach ride, you basically start from Montezuma and you have to walk once you've parked in the car park for about 30 minutes, I'd say. And you go past two other beaches on the way. And after that walk, you arrive at this massive beach, which is lovely. Now, it is a bit of a hilly terrain. It's nothing too treacherous at all. Most people can do it if you can do an average hike. But that might be why it's a tiny bit more quiet because if you want to surf here as well, you have to buy surfboards in Montezuma and rent them for the day and then carry them and walk them all the way out here for about half an hour, which is quite the tiring task. But the walk is very nice. Uh, there's a few nice waterfalls you go by, uh, by the beach, and there's a few other sandy, smaller beaches that you also go past that you can't surf at due to rocks and other conditions. So if you're in Montezuma and you want to surf, the nearest place to do that is going to be this beach right here, La Playa Grande. Now, the waves themselves, do you know what? I'd say that they vary. Different days brought in different waves. Now, on the first day, the clip you saw at the start, the waves were quite nice. They were kind of medium-sized but quite powerful. On the other day we was there, the waves were so big and powerful that we couldn't even get the boards out because we had long boards at the time and it was a bit too tough, a bit too strong to get them out, the, uh, the water. Now, I'd say that there's great beginner waves here because you can for example catch the for example catch the small foamy ones like that and often they push you all the way in or if you're good enough you can get all the way out there catch the swell at the back and come in now there was a bit the busiest time i saw it was at sunset and there was about one surf school on one section of the beach and then about seven or eight other surfers so you can just just get a gist of how quiet it actually is and there's a big wave there coming crashing down on us um, again not big relative to the pro waves that people surf but considering how close we are and how flat it is to the shore uh, that's quite a decent sized wave there's a bit of shade there's not really many people selling anything and also on the way to this uh, this beach you'll pass a lovely uh, resort called Ylang Ylang and the only thing to drink around this beach is coconuts so overall, if I had to review this beach, I would give it a very, very high score. I feel like it's pros that it's very secluded. It's almost like a hidden spot, although it is on the internet quite a lot. There's just not that many people there when we went. As soon as you hit the beach, you look at it and there's like miles of jungle next to sand, next to sea, which is absolutely stunning especially when the sun's shining on the green jungle that is what you imagine costa rica to be like the water is nice and warm so that is also a pro however i would say that you know a few days we went it wasn't super sunny but the water yeah, the water's really warm not the clearest um, but still very nice but i'd say it's mostly for surfing if you're looking to just go for a casual swim it is quite a long walk so you probably want to just you know go to one of the beaches closer in on this walk However, because we were surfing, uh, we came out all this way. So it really is a great destination to surf. Um, and I'd recommend it, despite this video not doing it justice and my surfing skills not quite doing it justice, 
you can just get a feel for what the waves are like and the conditions. And so thank you very much for watching this La Playa Grande beach review. Let me know what you want to see next in the Costa Rica series. And I'll catch you again soon. Leave a like and subscribe down below.